Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in today's video, we are going to be doing a reaction video to the one, the only, Goth Fruits, aka Ren. And this video was made about six months ago, and, well, I've been seeing around, you know, the internet, and Calvin Guerra made a video on it, like, months ago, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do this, okay? Now, by mind you, she is in, I'm sorry, they are incredibly cringy. And note this, it says here, I'm Rin, I'm 20, and I'm a non-binary boy. Boy. Okay. Uh-huh, sure you are, sweetie. Okay, let's get right into this cringe. Like, bitch, I wrote notes, motherfucker. Now, I've done a video on gender and sexuality before. Yes, and it was a giant work, a giant pile of waste of everybody's time, too. But I guess this is me just rambling about gender. Sorry. I am so... <laughs> uh, I don't know how you say it in English, but like in Spanish, um, se dice mucoso. Like, my, my nose is ringing. Anyways, so <laughs> I made a gender and sexuality video when I first started my channel because a lot of people were very confused about me. And yeah, and we still are. I've come to realize that people are still confused about me. So this is a video where I explain just what the fuck is going on with me, who I am, etc. But <laughs> she's a trender. <laughs> The biggest point of topic that I want to talk about in this video is trans trenders. So, if you don't know what that is, a trans trender, which does not exist, is what you are, and yes, it does exist, but it's what you are. Exists, by the way, is someone who pretends to be trans for the sake of just like shits and giggles, which I don't know why you would ever do that because there's nothing fun about it. <laughs> You're right, there is nothing fun about it. And girl, like, girl, there's like nothing wrong with being non-binary. You want to be, be non-binary, more power to you. But it's when you start saying, I'm a non-binary boy that I have problems with. Okay, you can't be non-binary and a boy at the same time. That's not possible. Okay. Um, but essentially that's what it is. It's the concept of someone faking it. Faking being trans. Stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Anyways. And you're right, it is. You should understand that and then stop doing it. So, <laughs> I woke up one morning and people were just calling me a woman and a transgender. And I found the source of it and... You know, these last couple days I've been dealing with a lot of harassment. You can go to any YouTube video, any of my YouTube videos, and look at the comments and see just what the fuck I've been dealing with. And that's on all my socials. That's on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I've been dealing with harassment. So that's cool. You know what? Let's just take a peek at our comments section. <laughs> oh my gosh, the first one, which I've already liked. Congrats on your transition from female to female. <laughs> uh, it almost has 2,000 likes, so... Mm, this is going to be fabulous. Um, there are definitely people fake being trans. <laughs> I think you are one of them. I'm liking this. <laughs> oh my god, you are a heterosexual woman seeking attention to be different. End of discussion video rant. Oh my god. Okay, let's get back into this video. We'll look at the comments more later. Fun and fresh. You know, let's really break this down. So what's the definition of a transgender person? I'm gonna ask Google. Transgender, denoting or relating a- What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened?
Okay, so nothing's happening. So yeah, sorry guys. I thought it. I thought, I thought it just up and vanished on me, but it's it's still right here for some reason. It, it decided to, it wanted to go away. Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. The person who sense a personal identity does not correspond with the birth sex. So your personal identity, which is you know inside of you in your brain here does not match what sex you were born as, okay? Now, I am non-binary, and non-binary is under the trans umbrella. Uh -huh. Now, a lot of people are confused because they're like, how can you be non-binary and a boy? That makes no sense. Non-binary literally means... That's right, because you can't be both. You're either one or the other. You can't be both. Okay, moving on. Not in the binary, but being male is binary. Let me explain. So, actually, you know what? I'm gonna draw a fucking chart. Notepad. I feel like I'm like fucking blues clues. So, let's see. So this is my chart. Let's say this is female and this is male. And you know, in this division would be like typically where you would expect a non-binary person to be, right? Okay. Um, I'm not here. I'm somewhere over here. <laughs> so you see how I'm not explicitly male. So I'm not strictly male and I'm not strictly neutral. Like I float around in this little area right here. Yeah, this sounds like a whole giant garbage pile of bullshit. Okay, Ren, you need to get something straight through your thick non-binary ass. You can't be non-binary and male. Because you can't be both, sweetness. You can't be both. You're one or the other. You can't be both. I've said this already, but, you know, let's just continue on this giant pile of video crazy that we're currently all watching. So, I'm a non-binary boy. People get confused because since non-binary is under the trans umbrella, it's technically trans. Um, but I do not consider myself like I'm not going to transition. And now let's get into that too, transitioning. Uh, people have a lot a lot to say about how I present myself and let me make it clear like off the bat and so people are like why do you present as a girl I don't present as a girl I present you prevent you present feminine that's what you present and as feminine I present femininely I don't present as a girl that doesn't make sense then comes the topic of just it makes sense because the most of the world Feminine clothing is female clothing. And yes, that stereotype is kind of stupid, but that's the world we live in, unfortunately. Most people's issue with you, Ren, is the fact that you call yourself a boy, and yet you do nothing to pass. You say you went on testosterone, we all know that's a bold-faced lie, because, like, where? Where did you start? Because your voice is still high, your face still looks like a girl, so like, mm, okay. Dysphoria, which people say, Rin, you have no dysphoria, obviously, because you dress so femininely and you say you are a boy. And it just does not make sense, you fucking fake. And I'm just like, okay. Makeup, clothes, shoes. Okay, can you stop wiping your nose? It's really gross and really disconcerning with this video. So whatever, accessories, I don't care. It is all gender neutral. Everything is gender neutral. As soon as I like have an article of clothing, it's neither boy or girl, it's mine. Gender expression does not equal gender identity. And I said this before in my previous video, but I guess it went through everyone's fucking heads. The way I present myself does not have any correlation <laughs> to what I identify as. It just doesn't. In the LGBT community, we should not be fighting at all. The whole point of the LGBT community is to have a community for us, like a safe space for us, and to have people who are gatekeeping 
and you know call you can't gatekeep unless you're a medical professional get that through your non-binary ass skull honey at each other trenders and pushing people out making people scared and questioning their gender for the fear that someone might call them a trender like that is unacceptable. This is the American Psychiatric Association, APA. This is where I'm reading it from. So what is gender dysphoria? Gender dysphoria involves a conflict between a person's physical and assigned gender and the gender on which he, she, they identify. People- Wow, she actually said the only thing so far in this like almost six minutes we've been watching that's actually factually accurate. People with gender dysphoria may be uncomfortable with their gender assigned, sometimes described as being uncomfortable with their body. So, a lot of people claim that I do not experience gender dysphoria, which I do, and I'll get into that in a minute, um, because of the way I present, and that makes no sense. If you were a boy, then putting on makeup would make you dysphoric. It's like, no, because I'm a boy in makeup. Nothing you're saying makes sense. Like, By the way, everybody, this that was my brother putting in his little two cents, which is always welcome. Well, I'm going to say another thing that's two cents, you know, to, you know, honey, um, the lipstick, the lame makeup, the hair, none of that's working for you. Just well, that's, no, that's nothing to do with it. I mean, I mean, trans men or non-binary and my non-binary, they can wear makeup if they want to. Makeup isn't gendered. However, if they call themselves a boy, it doesn't exactly help them pass as male, if they claim to be male. Anyway, Jeremy's leaving now. So we're going to get back into this uh, messy cesspool of a video. How come cis men can do it? And I can't. Why? Because I have a vagina? Like, does that suddenly like make me like fake trans? Doesn't make any sense, right? Anyways, like people think that to be certified trans, to be suicidal, you have to hate your body, you have to hate yourself, you have to just be in so much pain and suffering and misery that you just like can't handle the fact that, you know, like, you know, that you can't handle your body. And that is not true. That is so not true. Now, I started questioning my gender six years ago. I've been identifying with the term non-binary since I was 16, so that's 17, 18, 19, 20. That's four years, and six years with what's going up on here. My dysphoria is something that I did not want to talk about because it is very personal to me, but at this point, I feel like I just have to because it's like, why would I fake this? Why would it, people are, people have been telling me that I've been faking this for views, faking this for my- Okay, first of all, not talking about your dysphoria is the number one thing that's going to make people question whether you're a trender or whether or not you're actually trans. Because if you are claimed to be trans but refuse to talk about your dysphoria, people are going to call you a trender because they're going to think you're lying about having dysphoria. So, yeah. My makeup artistry for everything and I started makeup I started all of this like a year and some change ago like this isn't new I've been like this my dysphoria comes from um, my uterus so I during my period have a very hard time and it's a very difficult time for me even though it's a week like when I started birth control, I did the three month thing um, because I wanted it to be gone. I wanted that to be relieved, but my body didn't like that. It kind of reacted badly with it. So I had to start a birth control that is now monthly. So, um, so basically yeah, I'm at it differently. There is not one way. Not everyone wants to rip off their boobs and rip off their genitals. Like there are tons of trans women. But the majority of them do who keep their penises and there are tons of trans men who are just okay with you know having a vagina and it doesn't make you like fake trans it just means that they've gotten to a point well yeah because everybody's dysphoria is different not everybody not every single trans person has the same extreme level of dysphoria than some people do that should be obvious to you Ren. i don't know why it isn't where they can experience loving themselves and you can do that you can be trans and love yourself and not fully be like surgically 
altered and you know use hormones you can still be happy in your body it's so harmful for trans youth to see this because there are people who throw around transgender and like can you imagine if someone was questioning their gender and decided to go with a label to see how they feel and someone just bombarded them with trans like you're so fake you're a transgender you're faking it like do you know how <laughs> that could easily push someone away from experimenting with themselves and finding themselves. You know, there are a lot of trans people who experience Which is why you do your research. If you think you might be trans, you don't put the label of trans on yourself. You do research, you look into, you watch videos, you do research about hormones, on about the surgeries, about what other people have went through going through the hormones and the surgeries and you do your research, you talk to a therapist, you talk to a doctor, so that you can get all that information from them before you make that decision. You don't put a label on yourself, okay? Because that is only going to mess you up more, so, okay. Gender euphoria, because they've come to accept themselves. Okay, gender euphoria doesn't exist. Okay, just stop, friend. Just stop. Stop trying to spread lies. That's an SJW term. Okay. And, okay, goodbye. And their bodies, and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why it's a big fucking deal. Okay, Introduce myself, or, you know, like, my pronouns come up. I'm like, hey, I'm Rin. I'm non-binary. Nice to meet you. You know, it's like, I just, I don't care what the general public looks at me or sees me as, or... You know, that, that doesn't affect me because my gender expression is so feminine that I know that I'm going to get misgendered regardless. If I was masculine, I'd still face the same thing. I'm going to get misgendered regardless, so I might as well do what makes me happy, which is dressing colorful and wearing a buttload of makeup. And, you know, if someone misgenders me, I correct them and I introduce myself as non-binary. That's it. We just have to stop the gatekeeping. We have to stop... Okay, again, you can't gatekeep unless you're a medical professional. You really need to drill that into your mind and memorize it so you won't forget it. All right, I'm done with this video. I got like 14 minutes in, and I my mind can't really take much longer. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please do comment, like, subscribe down below. Hit the bell so you uh, will always get notified every single time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to support me and support my channel, you can support me on patreon.com slash Isabella. I also have a Facebook page, which I post uh, every day on, and that is facebook.com slash Isabella 91 You can check me on there. Uh, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description, and I will also have them in my outro at the very end of this video like always all right thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in tomorrow's video all right bye guys